Finding the slope, y-intercept, and equation for a linear function given a table of values. A table of values of a linear function is shown below. So here's my x values, my y values. Find the slope, the y-intercept of the function's graph, and find the equation for the function. Okay? So let's start with slope. Right? Slope is the change in y over the change in x. So I need to look here at my table and figure out, well, how is y changing? And see what is the pattern here. Okay, so from negative 1 to 2, uh, that would be add 3. And from 2 to 5 is add 3. And 5 to 8, we add 3. And 8 to 11, we add 3. So the change in y, or the pattern there, is add 3, or plus 3. Now let's see what's happening with the x's. Okay, so negative 1 to 0 is plus 1. And then we plus 1, plus 1 again, and plus 1 again to get to 3. So the x row is adding 1, or its change is plus 1. So now we just need to put these in a fraction. So the change in y is plus 3, or positive 3. The change in x, or x is changing by adding 1, or positive 1. I could put the positives on here if I wanted to. So positive 3 divided by positive 1 is just 3. So my slope is 3. Now y-intercept. When you look at a table, zeros in a table are a dead giveaway for intercepts. And I have a zero right there in that column. So when x is 0, y is 2. This is my y-intercept right there, okay, paired with the 0. So now I just need to write the equation. So I know lines, a general form of, of the slope-intercept form of a line is y equals mx plus b. Okay, so I'm just going to replace my values, the equation of this line. And even though they're calling it a function, I'm going to start my equation y equals because they're using y here as the function value. So y equals, instead of m, I'm going to put in my slope, which is 3, then the x, plus, and the b represents the y-intercept, which is 2. So 3 is the slope. 2 is the y-intercept, the equation is y equals 3x plus 2.